Hello and welcome to this video about what is Microsoft Fabric. So just in case you have not heard of it, there is quite a hype around it currently. And this hype of course originated from Microsoft itself, who would have thought, because of course they want to share this with all their clients, especially companies, and sell this service to them. So what's this hype about? Why Microsoft Fabric and why it could be a really big thing? Well, the question is, is it something new? And the answer to this, at least from my point of view, is actually yes and no. So to get started, what is Microsoft Fabric? You see here this detailed article from Microsoft and I encourage you to read it through as well because it's quite detailed and very well explained. But to give you a brief summary, Microsoft Fabric itself is just a SaaS product. So SaaS just refers to software as a service, just in case you have not heard of it. And what it means is that uh, Microsoft itself just provides the infrastructure as the cloud compute services, as well as the software itself. And the software, which is included in Fabric, is actually or are, is consisting of various Azure products. And you see them down there. So if you're familiar with Azure, if you've worked with various services before, then you might know Azure Data Factory, for instance, or Synapse Data Engineering, uh, Synapse Data Warehousing, and also Data Science, as well as real-time streaming, and of course, Power BI. And uh, what Fabric now does is simply combining all these services under one hood. So that just means there is no need for us anymore to go to uh, Azure account and then create a resource group, for instance, and in this resource group, then uh, create several resources. Like for instance, if you are a database administrator, then you could create, for instance, a SQL Server database in Azure. Or if you are a data engineer, then you need Synapse, for instance, for your to work with PySpark for your data engineering things. Then you would need to create a, a Synapse workspace, for instance, yeah? um, or PySpark compute resources. And all this now is not done through the Azure portal anymore. So instead, we have just Microsoft Fabric, just one software as a service tool, which you can use. And then inside from Fabric, we can then go to these different services, which are included in Microsoft Fabric. So this is Fabric in a nutshell. And beside this, on the bottom, so below these services, of course, we need to have some kind of, let's say, bottom layer where all the data is stored. And this data needs to be stored securely and it needs to be available for all these services. And for that, there is a so-called one lake. One lake, let's just think of data lakes, right, is just the storage. So it's like uh, if you think about, for instance, Azure Blob Storage, anything like that, where you stored your data. And now for Azure, uh, for, for Fabric, not Azure, but for Fabric, we have now one lake. And one lake just is this one-stop shop, so the basis, so where all the data is stored, and this data can then be accessed by all these various services. So that's the great thing about one lake. And also, it not only allows to store data in the Azure cloud, so uh, directly in the system itself, but also to add data from external services. For instance, data which is stored in S3 accounts in AWS. They can also be connected to one lake. This is called shortcuts. And then this data is also available and can be used inside those services on top. So this is Fabric in a nutshell. So remember, it's a software as a service product. It offers now the option for all different kinds of people, so different kinds of skills and backgrounds to work together in one platform. So that's it about Fabric. And now, of course, you we're very excited to get started with Fabric and this is what we're gonna do together in the next couple of videos. So that's it. As I said, have a look at this article, read through it, it gives you more and detailed explanations, but this is what Fabric is in a nutshell. So see you in the next video.